prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal, Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time, Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority, Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored, Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development, Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office, Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Polycarp, a bishop and martyr of the second century. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass. Let us be sorry for our sins. And let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of all creation, who were pleased to give the Bishop St. Polycarp a place in the company of the martyrs, grant through his intercession that sharing with him in the chalice of Christ, we may rise through the Holy Spirit to eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, come now, you who say, Today or tomorrow we shall go into such and such a town, spend a year there doing business, and make a profit. You have no idea what your life will be like tomorrow. You're a puff of smoke that appears briefly and then disappears. Instead, you should say, If the Lord wills it, we shall live to do this or that. But now you are boasting in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. So for one who knows the right thing to do and does not do it, it is a sin. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Hear this, all you peoples. Hearken, all who dwell in the world. Of lowly birth or high degree, rich and poor alike. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Why should I fear in evil days when my wicked ensnarers ring me round? They trust in their wealth. The abundance of their riches is their boast. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Yet in no way can a man redeem himself or pay his own ransom to God. Too high is the price to redeem one's life. He would never have enough to remain alive always and not see destruction. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. For he can see that wise men die, and likewise the senseless and the stupid pass away leaving to others their wealth. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us. Jesus replied, do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me. For whoever is not against us is for us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, have you ever encountered a person who, when speaking of some future plans, would preface their words, would begin their words by saying, if God wills it, or God willing, O sa Tagalog, kung nanaisin ng Diyos, kung ipagkakaloob ng Diyos, o sa awa ng Diyos. God willing, I will be able to go there. Sa awa ng Diyos, magagawa ko ang pinaplano ko. Kung ipagkakaloob ng Diyos, uh, matatapos natin ang ating mga plano. St. James, in our first reading today, talks about people who make plans for their lives, where they want to go and what they want to do. And St. James, Saint James says, but despite your plans, you really have no idea what your life will be tomorrow. Plano kayo ng plano, 
Pero alam nyo ba kung ano ang mangyayari bukas? He even says, You are a puff of, of smoke that appears briefly and then disappears. Para lang kayong buga ng usok. Nandyan, pero maya-maya, mawawala na din. And so you could not really say what will happen tomorrow. Instead, St. James says, you should say, if the Lord wills it, we shall live to do this or to do that. Everything happens if the Lord wills it. And so our lives must always fit into the plan and the will of God. In our gospel today, John reports to Jesus a person who was driving out demons using the name of Jesus. Now, there is really no problem about that. But the concern of John is that this person uses the name of Jesus, but he is not one of them. He does not belong to their group. And so John was implying that this person should be stopped from using the name of Jesus because only we who follow you, only we who are your disciples could use your name. John was upset because Jesus could work even through people outside their group. It is as if John was trying to limit the power of God to their group. Kami lang ang may karapatang gumamit ng pangalan mo at sa amin lang pwedeng gumalaw ang iyong kapangyarihan. John, by saying this, is showing us one reaction, and that is that we want God to do what we want Him to do. Kung paano ka namin gustong kumilos, ganun ka lamang dapat kumilos. At hindi ka pwedeng kumilos sa labas ng aming pag-iisip. My dear brothers and sisters, is it God who should adjust to our will? Or should we be the one to adjust to God's will? Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Polycarp. He was baptized by the Apostle John and he also became a disciple of John. Later, he became a bishop in Smyrna, the present-day West, Western Turkey. And during the time of persecution, Polycarp was burned alive. But God saved him from burning. Instead of the flames touching his body, the flames encircled him. And so he did not die. So what they did was to kill him with a dagger. St. Polycarp is one of the first martyrs that the Christians venerated. In the life of St. Polycarp, we could see how he abandoned himself to the will of God. If he wanted his own plan and his own will to be followed, he would have denied Jesus and rejected his faith and so saved his life. 
but because he allowed the will of God to happen in his life, then he offered everything, even his own life, for his faith and for Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, every day and at every moment, we should ask ourselves, is it really God's will? Or is it only my plan? Am I following God's will? Or am I insisting my plan to God? Do I fit myself into God's plan? Or do I force God to follow what I want? Kalooban ba talaga ito ng Diyos? O baka naman kalooban ko lang na pinalalabas kong kalooban ng Diyos? Ito ba talaga ang gusto ng Diyos? O baka ito lang ang gusto natin? Sa lahat ng pagkakataon sa ating buhay, hanapin natin ano ba ang gusto ng Diyos. Dahil sa bandang huli, yung gusto ng Diyos ang siyang pinaka mabuti. Let us seek always the will of God because the will of God will always make our lives better. Let us seek always the will of God and things will turn out better more than we could ever imagine. May our whole life be according to the will of God. Sana lahat sa ating buhay palaging ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos at palaging mamutawi sa ating mga bibig, hari nawa, kung ito'y nanaisin ng Diyos, kung ito'y pagkakaloob ng Diyos, sa awa ng Diyos, Mangyayari ang mga pinaplano at gusto ko, always according to the will of God. Please all stand. Our Master teaches us that discipleship means a radical rejection of evil. We pray with the intention of making sacrifices to follow the Lord. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may effectively preach the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer that God may grant us the gift of forgiveness, reconciliation, and healing of hurts caused by division and bickering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That there may be greater appreciation of the goodness of people as a channel of God's Spirit at work in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our friends who have died and have gone before us may share in the peace and happiness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, help us to see all people through your eyes. Grant us breath of mind and generosity of heart to accept what is good from whatever source, we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace, may we be set afire with the flame of your love through which St. Polycarp overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Polycarp, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Polycarp and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, we pray, O Lord, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Polycarp faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our healing rosary for the world tonight at 9 o'clock will be hosted by the Santa Cruz Parish in Tanzan, Navota City. And so we invite you once again to join us in praying the Holy Rosary. And together, let us implore the intercession and help of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Isa'y nakilang